All right, so here we are in the 392 Nortec Superfish. And first off, guys, subscribe to our YouTube channel if you find these walkthroughs valuable. We would really appreciate it, and it helps us out. We're trying to grow our database, and this 392 is part of that. So check out the outboards. We always appreciate your support, by the way. Quad 450Rs by Mercury Racing. Push this boat upwards of 88 miles an hour, so it's a full-blown rocket ship. Check out the live wells on this one. This is their super fish, as they call it. Two large live wells set up for fishing. They have these removable backrests and a cushion up here, so you can use this as a large bench sheet when you're not fishing. Tuna tubes on both sides and rod holders, powder-coated black to match all the piping on the transom. Here you have some storage. Your engine, flush valves, the cutouts for buckets. You can kind of organize some stuff there without it flying all over the place and remove the bucket instead of removing everything individually. Check this thing out. Pretty serious sea chest system here. Very clean, easy to access, huge hatch. There's a lot going on there, but it's simplified pretty well also. You got a retractable frigid rigid. These coolers hold ice like there's no tomorrow. Tackle storage. And a sink up here. Keeping to the Nortec look, you got these cup holders that light up, which are really cool. And look over here. You got tackle storage along the leaning post here as well. And your Plano boxes. So see we're looking up top, you have your JL audio speakers all around this boat, your Gemlux outriggers, which are easy to access. You can literally almost do it while you're sitting down. And these things are super smooth and easy. You don't have to budge from here. And this again is a simple helm, which we absolutely love. You got some, your switch panel on both sides, a carbon fiber finish um, and really large 20, 22 inch uh, garment screens. Dry box up here, your VHS, you got them doubled up as well and your vessel view up here for mercury good field of view for a 39 and this thing again we rode on it um, at the miami boat show and did about 87 88 miles an hour and it's mind-blowing here they're just getting set up now so they have a couple cushions in there but good size console cabin access to your battery switches your rigging good uh, natural lighting coming in through those windows and a full size berth there towards the bow you got fish boxes all along this. We're not gonna open every single one up, but great to have all that storage. Huge lounger here, extremely comfortable. You can fit you know, two, three people there, no problem at all. Large fish, fish box here at the bow, fresh and saltwater wash down. Again, JL audio speakers all the way around. You got a 12 inch subwoofer up there just for reference. You'll get more bass out of that thing than anything you've ever heard in your life. And then you got your anchor locker here with a windlass so beautiful boat this one is more just white and black which is clean simple and kind of more my style personally but these guys do any sort of color matching or anything an owner wants specifically and customized to you so that's basically it i think we run it all this is a nice like satin finish almost like a matte finish underneath which is great you don't realize it but that actually kills a lot of the glare what happened there? oh kills a lot of the glare um, that reflects off the water so if you have a glass a glossy underside you tend to get a little bit of glare especially with a white uh, hard top bottom so that matte or, or satin finish is phenomenal and that's about it guys thank you very much check out those 450 R's as bad as they get we appreciate your support always like I said subscribe to our channel if you find value in these walkthroughs and we'll keep them going as much and as many as we can follow us on Instagram Facebook Twitter share with your friends thanks again and we'll see you soon